Nice rig, Greg. Mm -mm. OK, so it looks a little bit small. A little but, bit. Um, just you wait and see. Now, what is the one thing you should never do if a pan of oil sets on fire? Chuck water in it. Exactly. Yeah. And I want to show you why. Oh, great. So, first things first, oil. <sighs> Get all of that in there. Now, this is all the water I'm going to use. Not much at all. No. OK, just a cup full of water. That's going to go in the top here. And what's going to happen? So, this rig is set up so that I can remotely drop that water into the pan of hot oil, which will be flaming like crazy by then, OK? Yeah. It's going to sink down through the oil. It's going to be heated up rapidly, expand into steam, and that is where it gets very dangerous. Oh, good. That's it. Crank that up. Right, Frank, can you put the oil on, please? Yeah. This is now a ticking time bomb. We need to get out of here. Go, yeah. go, 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 go. Right, this is uh, safety distance. Goggles on. All of it's gone. Here we go. Water turns a chip pan fire into an inferno. That's because water is denser than oil, so it sinks to the bottom of the pan, where it quickly boils, expanding into steam, forcing the oil upwards as hundreds of tiny, very flammable droplets. With a fire underneath, you've got the conditions for a disaster.